Hello and welcome to Blythe Way Business News, where today we're welcoming back our old friend Caledonia Mining Corporation. Caledonia is listed on the AIM market in London and also on the New York Stock Exchange, has a market capitalization of £126 million sterling, and is one of those rare beasts on the AIM market, a miner that pays a regular dividend, that dividend being powered by the blanket gold mine in Zimbabwe. We've got Steve Curtis with us, the chief executive. Steve. Good to have you back on the show. You've just released the first quarter 2021 results uh, year on year, uh, increased revenues. Give us a quick overview, please, that they seem to be a, an interesting mix of, of good news and some which might be less so good. But overall, give us the view. Thank you, Tim. Nice to be back with you again. Um, Tim, you're right. Uh, this is a mix of, of news. Um, we're obviously delighted that uh, that we exceeded last uh, comparable quarter's turnover, but that is a function of uh, a higher gold price and unfortunately uh, offset by uh, lower ounces sold. Uh, and we'll get to we'll get to that and the reasons uh, for it. Also, what uh, we will explain is um, that uh, cash there was a there was an outflow of cash because of working capital lockups. Uh, and I'll explain that. But on the positive side, you know, even even though we we had less ounces, um, we have still got EBITDA of nearly ten million dollars, very very similar to to this time last year. Uh, we've got uh, mining costs of about eight hundred and thirty dollars uh, an ounce. Uh, now those will be higher than the previous quarter because of the fact that we've got a high proportion of fixed costs, uh, we know those will come down. So although they, we're, 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 not, we're not proud of them, uh, we know what the issues are and we can fix those. Uh, importantly, um, uh, adjusted earnings per share, about 52 cents a share, very comparable to the 57 cents a share of a year ago. Uh, so we're, we're comfortable with that. And um, it's a it's a, a, a toughish. It's been a tough quarter. Uh, we only generated two million dollars of cash, but we still generated two million dollars of cash. Uh, but the working capital lockup really did um, it really did cost us. And uh, I, I guess we will probably talk about that uh, a bit later. But we still ended the quarter with thirteen million dollars in cash on the balance sheet. So we're solvent. Uh, we've got uh, we've got uh, production under control. The the reasons for the lower production, which was uh, a lower grade and uh, some unseasonable flooding uh, in the mine, all of that has been fixed. Uh, March was the best month of the quarter, and April has uh, has been an even better month, uh, as we announced today. Uh, five and a half thousand ounces um, uh, above our call rate. Donna tells me, and I can see that the mining issues are resolved. Tough quarter, but uh, we've come through it, and uh, I know we will do better. I want to get to the the cash flow issues in a moment, but I mean, also just looking back, Steve. I think the the dividend uh, in the quarter was something like eleven cents per share, which was significantly upon the previous quarter, the equivalent quarter last year. You must be very proud of the of the dividend payments you're making. Yes, Tim. Um, so in the quarter, we paid a dividend of 11 cents and then uh, a share. And then uh, at the end of the quarter, we declared a 12 cents a share dividend, which was paid in, in April. Um, and that is the fifth increase in a row on a quarterly basis. And uh, on a cumulative basis, that's 75% higher than when we started the process of uh, ramping up the dividends from October 2019. Uh, so 75% higher is uh, something that we are very, very proud of. Uh, the dividend costs us $1.4 million a quarter now. Um, it's affordable, we can manage it. And um, I think we've demonstrated that we have got an absolute commitment 
to reward shareholders uh, by increasing our dividend on a quarterly basis. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not all bad news. And the bad news is inside of our control and it has been fixed. And that's really important to us. Before we get to the cash flow, there's one other thing I wanted to want to draw out, Steve. We've we've spoken many times about these the significant uh, step forward, which was the completion of the central shaft. And I don't I don't want to take too much time on that today because we've we've explained to viewers many times now how important that was. But you've you've done it. Um, that saying now, I think you, you're saying that uh, production, uh, the guidance on production is what sixty one to sixty seven thousand ounces, just. Correct. Just give us a bit, a bit of colour on, on that, what that means for this year going forwards. Sure. So having started slowly with 13,200 13, ounces in Q1, you obviously are, are saying, well, you can't do four times that. That's not going to get you to your guidance. We are, we are confidently uh, reiterating our guidance, 61 to 67. Um, which means that there is going to be a gradual but consistent ramp up on a quarterly basis. And the plan is that we will hit the rate that we need to achieve to, to produce 80,000 ounces on an annual basis. We'll achieve that run rate towards the end of Q3 into Q4. And uh, let's, be, let's be conservative and say during Q4, We'll be we'll be running at the rate that would that would give us twenty two thousand ounces. So we will be announcing over the course of the year uh, the Q two production, which will be higher than Q one. Then Q three will need to be higher again, and Q four uh, should demonstrate to the market that uh, we we have got our processes in place. We have got the shaft running well and um, we are set to consistently produce at a, at a rate, which will be about 2,200 tons a month uh, to, uh, to produce the 80,000 80, ounces. Sorry, not 2,200 tons a month, 2,200 tons a day. Um, we're running at about just over 1,900 tons a day at the moment. So there's not an enormous uplift, um, but it all comes down to uh, mining, uh, moving the right material to the right areas. And as you rightly say, we've now got central shaft. So we will be using central shaft and four shaft. We do not have a hoisting constraint in any shape or form. Um, we, we've got the grade under control. Um, I make it sound very easy, <laughs> but it's, it's not. It's not. Let's be realistic. Blanket's not done this before, um, but our mining team is very experienced and this has been planned for over a long period. So I'm very confident. OK, so dividends are in a good place. Uh, the production is looking good. Uh, this morning, the analysts, the mining analysts in the city have uh, looked at this Q1 numbers and the, the response is uh, generally very positive. We need to just dig into something here, which I know you I know you're happy to talk about or willing to talk about, should I say, which is the uh, the increase in working capital, which is, has had a negative effect on the cash position. I, I, I guess there must be some factors behind that. Can you talk us through them, please? Yes, yes, of course. Effectively, um, the balance sheet shows that our receivable for gold delivered has increased by about seven million dollars. Now, that is at a point in time, and the reason that there was a large delivery right at the end of the quarter, which even though it was paid for inside of its normal cycle, so paid for in the first week of April, during, during the, the Q, Q1, at the end of Q1, it was outstanding. Now, if that $7 million had been received, our $13 million of cash would have looked a lot healthier. It has reversed. It has been fixed. It came about because um, our method of receipt of funds for our gold sold for the majority of the quarter came via the Reserve Bank, as it has done for many, many years. Um, we experienced some, some delays in receiving our money on time. 
and um, we uh, we have to behave responsibly. We have to manage the credit risk. Doesn't matter who the the customer is for the gold. Um, and so we had to manage the the pace with which we delivered gold. During the latter part of the quarter, the responsibility for paying us for gold moved from the reserve bank to the refinery. And that has resulted in a very much more efficient and a very much quicker payment cycle. And quite quickly, uh, the backlog of monies owed to us by the Reserve Bank was cleared. Then the new deliveries that were owed by the, 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 the refinery were cleared. And we could normalize the pace with which we delivered gold to, to the refinery but it did result in a large delivery at the end of the quarter, which just couldn't be paid uh, inside of the quarter, but as I say, was paid for within a week of the end of the quarter. So we, we, we report the cash position at the end of March uh, as 13 million, and we report end of April at nearly 16 and a half million. And that's after we've had the expenses of April and after we've paid the quarterly dividend of $1.4 million. So you can, you can see that real cash flow was a lot stronger than what the, the quarter demonstrated. And it's just a management, it's just a matter of timing and the accounting treatment, which has to be right. Um, and I'm therefore confident that as we roll into Q2 and we get to the end of Q2, Everything has run smoothly for the for the first six weeks of of the quarter. So I'm very I'm very confident that we will not have this big build up of working capital again. We'll actually have a reversal, and um, we should we should show a much healthier um, uh, cash position. But Tim, we all know at the end of the day, cash is king, and uh, it's our job to produce gold, but to get paid for it. And uh, I'm pleased to say that as I sit here today, there is nothing outstanding. All deliveries are on schedule. All payments are, are done. And the, the, the only payments outstanding are for last, last, uh, last Tuesday's delivery. So uh, we're, we're in a better space. Oh, Steve, well, thanks for taking the time to talk us through that. Because that, that, was, that was really helpful detail, which I'm sure we'll... Uh, reassure many of many of your investors that was steve curtis chief executive of caledonia uh, the gold miner uh, operating the blanket mine in in zimbabwe giving us the update on his uh, first quarter uh, results that's it from blithe business news for today thanks for watching